Pitts is what I call like the, the silent assassin. I mean, he, he's a guy that doesn't have to speak a lot about what he does, he just does it. And he really lets the product speak for himself. He doesn't like to ring his own bell. He likes the bike, basically, to do that for him. L is a biker first, you know what I mean? And that's why when you come to our shop, you really don't see show bikes. You know, the bikes that you'll see today are customers' bikes. Pitts was a hot rod guy until a family connection drew him into the world of motorcycles. Um, I got the bug basically from my uh, younger brother, and um, he just uh, always wanted to be, you know, a biker, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And uh, he went out and, and got himself a chopper and uh, started working on it and did some things to it and uh, kind of got a little bit of a following here in town, and uh, it worked out for the best. I knew I wanted to get into it. Um, I just didn't think that it would be at this level. You know, I, th I always thought it would be kind of a, a hobby thing, but um, I've grown to have a passion for this, so it's, uh, it's, it's exciting, man. I love it every day. This is actually just one big, long field trip. Every time I come in the door and, and you know, I get cracking on one of these bikes, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Well, as a black man in this business, uh, when I started, it was, it was very difficult. You know, it was, it was uh, a lot difficult than I thought it would be. I thought I was ready to, to handle what I knew was gonna come at me. Now, builders and the public, you know, they're like, you know what, this guy's pretty straightforward, he's legit. That's how I wanted to be, to be, you know, recognized. It's just not just this black guy trying to build bikes, but just a guy that's building some cool customers who happens to be black. I'm not trying to be a, a pioneer, but if that's what I'm labeled as, then so be it. And you know what, I'll try to do the best I can. The crew at Vegas City Choppers includes L, his technician Kenny, and Dino, who creates incredible seats and accessories from hand-tooled leather and exotic skins. Marketing and PR guy, B.S. Williams, was gassing up his car one day when he saw L and Kenny cruise by. I chased them in my car on their bikes with my gas cap hanging out of my car, couldn't catch up with them. Later, I happened to run into them at a show and I recognized them as the guys I saw. I didn't know they built bikes. I just knew they rode and I just moved here. So I saw their bikes, I saw what they were about, and I just hung out with them ever since. Working at Vegas City Choppers is unbelievable. Imagine a kid who loves basketball and he bumps into Michael Jordan and Michael Jordan says, hey, you wanna go to training camp with me? That's what it's like for me in Vegas City Chop. I want to hear that backfire, boom, I want to smell the grease, you know, stuff like that, that excites me.